Hey there, everyone. It's me, Lisa Lillian, also known as Hungry Girl. I am coming at you live from my house. Um, this is day who the heck knows of the quarantine, and I am bored to tears. I wish I could say I was in the mood to cook tonight, but I'm not really in the mood to cook, but I figured I would go live anyway because I thought maybe some of you would be bored. If you're bored, send hearts. Are you bored? Because I am bored to tears. It is so boring. Oh, hi, Lauren. You're watching. Hi. My niece, Lauren, is sitting here with me. You can send comments. She will share them with me. Um, I just wanted to tell you about my day, tell you about some things I'm thinking about making live for you this week. Hey, Deborah. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Julie. Uh, and then to let you know, I, I hurt my nail today. Like, I broke something, some situation. My nail cracked and it was bleeding. But... You know, I'm, I'm going to rough it. I'm not going to seek medical attention at this point. How are you doing? How are you feeling? What's going on? And thank you for liking my hat. I know there's like a Snoopy theme happening this week. I do like Snoopy. Hi, Deb. Hey, Betsy. Uh, I love Snoopy. And I was wearing a Snoopy sweatshirt last night. I'm wearing my Snoopy hat. He makes me happy. I love the friendship between Snoopy and Woodstock. So today I just wanted to share with you because usually I'm at Hungryland and they send us tons of food every single week. We get boxes and boxes and boxes and boxes of food. But now the boxes are being picked up by me personally and then I'm schlepping them to my house and then I'm opening the boxes. And so I thought maybe you guys would like a glimpse into some of the things that we get when we're at work, but we're not at work right now. So do you want me to do that? Hit, hit those hearts, baby. Okay, so today we got a box. I should, by we, I mean me and my niece, <laughs> my dog, my husband. <laughs> we got a box from Bubba's Fine Foods. They have grain-free foods. Do you guys know Bubba's? I don't know if you do. I'm not a food faker. I have to say they sent this limited edition bananas foster ungranola, and it's because it's gluten-free, kosher, paleo, non-GMO. Do you guys know this? Are they saying anything, Lauren? Lauren's staring at me, totally bored. She's like no, barely not. reading your comments. She's just like this. Yes, I am. They're just all saying hi from their states. Hi from your states. Anyway, this ungranola is really yummy. It's Bananas Foster. It has 160 things. calories. Um, and it's not bad, actually. So Bubba's makes, I'll tell you what else they make. They make these kettle cooked banana chips in savory flavors, which these are open and, and Lauren already, I think you ate like half this bag, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she let, I was like, it feels pretty light. 150 kettle cooked. This one is garlic parm. This one is blazing buffalo. I tried it, it's a little bit hot. It's not bad. Have you seen these? Hi, Kentucky. We like your hat. Hi, <laughs> thank you for liking my hat. This hat is like totally retro. It's Make... Like is a few miles from us. Oh, well, that's cool. That's pretty cool. Well, but it... They also sent me savory, original, grain-free um, snack mix. So everything is banana-based. There's a lot of... They love bananas at Bubba's. So this came today. I like it. If you want to look and see what this granola looks like, it looks like this. Am I ever going to have a new cooking show? I don't know. I miss the cooking show. So this is what the granola looks like. It tastes like glass, classic granola. Lolly is here. Lolly. Lolly. Anyway. What does it say? I'm freezing up. Am I freezing up? I think Facebook is overly crowded. But this granola, thumbs up. I like it for granola. Again, granola typically is hot, very high in calories. This has 160 calories a serving. I would chop this up and put it on my yogurt. And that, that would be that. I'm getting texted by a lot of humans, but... I'm going to ignore that. I thought I'd turn the sound down on my computer. Anyway, here's what else came in the mail today. Rowdy bars. Do you guys know Rowdy bars? Rowdy bars? These are chocolate coconut cashew and blueberry almond. They're very like, I'm going to open one of these and show They're almost like power bars. Cashew is less sticky. It's 160 calories. I'll actually taste this one. It'll be the last thing I eat before my... It's actually a little late for me to be eating, but I'll take a bite of this. Hold on. There it is. It's a rowdy bar. The idea of the rowdy bar. They are soy-free, dairy-free, all natural. Clearly, they want me to write about them or taste them. So this is your lucky day, rowdy bar, because I'm going to taste this. Ooh, hold on. 
Hmm. Very sweet. It's very coconutty. Doesn't even mention coconut. Oh, it does. I'm dumb. Chocolate coconut cashew. <laughs> hmm. That's pretty good. That's not bad. Considering it's soy free, dairy free, all natural, Looks gluten like free. Hmm? Like there's, egg there's egg whites, right? So it's not vegan. So Lauren can't eat these. Mm -hmm. Yes, the sacrifices I make for you. Wait, how many sugar and carb grams? Will you tell the nice people how much sugar and how many carb grams? There's 17 grams of carbs. 17 carbs. How much sugar? Um, it's very nine sticky. Grams. Nine grams of sugar. Okay. Eight grams of protein. Eight grams of protein, people. Um, do you have any questions for me before I show you the next thing and what I purchased at the store today? Went out, wore gloves, disinfected everything and purchase some items. Do you want to know what they are? I got this Hood Calorie Countdown Milk. Now, previously you couldn't get this in California where I live, so I was excited to see it. What I like about this milk, I mean, you know I'm big on the non-dairy milks. I'm big on nut milks, coconut milk, almond milk, cashew milk, all of that stuff. Oh, is there fiber in those yeah, bars they're asking? One gram. Oh, one gram of fiber, wow. Sorry, I missed it. Um, so this, this milk, what I like about it is it is super low from what I understand in fat. Well, it's got like four, eight ounces, which 70 calories for eight ounces is pretty good because that's like way less than skim milk. Oh, hi, Lolly. <laughs> and honestly, like a, if you like whole milk, this is like really good cereal milk. Lolly is like freaking out. Please excuse Lolly's nose and tongue. Anyway, I thought this was a good find because previously I could not find it anywhere in California. And now Lolly is here sitting next to me trying to lick everything. All right, another thing that I purchased today is they, it finally was back in stock in my store, broccoli slaw. You know I love this. It's shredded broccoli, cabbage, carrots. Um, you know, the whole bag has 100 calories. This is the world's best 100 calorie pack. I do so many things with it. I think tomorrow I'm going to make a recipe for you guys using the broccoli slaw if you like that. What do you think? Good idea. And then maybe this weekend we'll have a pajama party. I was thinking of having a pajama party where you guys would have to be in your pajamas. Not that I could see you, but I would be in my pajamas and it would be like a late night thing and we could talk about late night snacking. What do you think? Do you like that? Hi, Lolly. What is, are they asking anything? How are you getting your nails done? She's oh, not. <laughs> I'm not getting my nails done. It's terrible. This is like leftover manicure and I broke that today. It split and it was, it was bleeding. I hate to be graphic. Can you try the milk one more time? Yes, the milk is called Hood Calorie Countdown. It tastes amazing. It is very, very, very rich. But if I have a pajama party, are you guys gonna wear your pajamas or am I gonna be the only fool sitting in here wearing pajamas? Cause I'll do it. What else are we going to do? We'll talk about late night snacking. We will, maybe we'll do it Saturday night. I mean, what the heck else are we going to do? You guys, you should be listening to the Hungry Girl podcast because if you're bored and you have, oh, wow, you have extra time, um, you can listen to the Hungry Girl podcast. We're being very honest about what's going on and how we fing in all of that fun stuff. And in the coming weeks, I'm going to have a good friend of mine who's an infectious disease specialist. He's a doctor. He is phenomenal, brilliant, and he can answer some of our most asked questions. And I think you'll find it really helpful. Now, one other thing, if you need some self-care in your life, like I did, you can go to Sephora.com and a lip mask. It's a lip sleeping mask. And when my niece saw this, she was like freaking out and she said it was very trendy. Is that true? Mm -hmm. This is a trendy lip mask. Is it expensive? $20. Maybe it's like $20. Someone sent this to me as a gift. I shouldn't really, it wasn't a gift gift. It was like part of another package. And I wore it last night to sleep. It smells great. It makes your, lip, your lips really, really soft. If for whatever reason, quarantine is making your lips dry, this That's is so the lip mask. It comes with a little uh, applicator. It's not even a sponge. It's like, it's rubber. Yeah, it's like oh, a spatula. It's a spatula. <laughs> See, she's a makeup artist. I don't know these things. I know nothing about makeup. Uh -huh. mm. Now I have to go to sleep because it's a sleep lip mask. 
Anyway. Everybody's saying they wear pajamas all the time. Okay, well, I'm look at me. I'm in my schlep clothing. I didn't even, like, do my hair today. I just put on my Snoopy hat. And I'm in a giant men's sweatshirt. So, you guys, if you want to take care of your lips and feel good about yourself, get this. What is it called? Laneige. L-A-N-E-I-G-E. -E, lip sleeping mask. Your lips won't fall asleep when you wear it, but you should go to sleep wearing the lip mask. You'll wake up with kissably soft, smooth lips. Yes, it's true. So those are the things I have for you. You, I hope you guys are still enjoying all the Hungry Girl content. The email opens are through the roof, so hopefully the information we're sending is helpful. If you don't subscribe to the emails, you should, okay? Go to hungry-girl.com, sign up for the emails. If you want to get notified when I go live on Facebook, you better click on notifications, yes, or notify me or whatever it is. What does that say? Can you post the link to that lip mask? Yes, we will find the lip mask and post the link. Um, so you should be getting the emails. You should be listening to the Hungry Girl podcast. You should be staying positive. You should be sanitizing. You should be staying home and following rules. I'm a total rule follower, which is why it is now right before 6 o'clock. And I can't eat anything else for the rest of the night. But we are going to have a late night pajama party this weekend where we're going to talk about late night snacking. And we can all share our late night snacking tips. My tip is I don't snack late at night. But if you do, we can talk about what you should be doing, what should be eating. Anyway, I hope you guys are not disappointed that I did not make a recipe tonight. But I did not want to blow you off and not be here because I feel really good when we connect. And it makes me... It makes me, it cheers me up. It makes me happy and it makes me less bored because to be honest, staying home is kind of boring, right? Yeah. <laughs> my niece has been making TikTok for good. Anything else? Anyone saying anything else? Any ideas for lockdown recipes? See, there's a lot of ideas. It's like for me, my lockdown recipes are two ingredients or three ingredients. I am lazy, truly. Like I am just bare bonesing it. I have marinara. I make what my husband used to call divorce pasta which is basically broccoli slaw and marinara. And to me, it tastes like pasta. I love it. I, I just, I've been doing a lot with eggs and egg beaters. I just ordered meal enders. Oh, good. I hope you love the meal enders. Ground turkey recipe ideas. Yes, make lots of um, tacos and lettuce shells. I did, I bought the Little Gems lettuce today. I'm going to do some fun things, and I will absolutely make some recipes for you. So I'll be back soon. I'm going to sign off now. I hope you guys have a safe and happy night. I am Lisa Lillian, also known as Hungry Girl. Till next time, chew the right thing.